Vermont National Guard is letting the games begin. It's back to hosting the U.S. Summer Roller Ski National Championship races at the Ethan Allen training site in Jericho. NBC5's Kristen Ray spoke with some of the athletes hoping to make it to the Winter Olympic Games. This weekend's biathlon welcomed athletes aiming for all one thing. Yeah, definitely shooting for uh, 2022 Olympics in Beijing. This is the first of eight qualifying races for next year's Winter Olympics. Deidre Irwin placing second on Saturday. The competition was hard out there. A lot of girls were shooting really well. As a member of the Vermont National Guard, she owes some of her success to them. It's really world class training here. And uh, because we train here every day, I think we get a little bit of a home field advantage. Someone feeling the home field advantage as well is Olympian Suzanne Dunkley. Born and raised right here in Vermont, she is already qualified for the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing. And so I almost never get to race in front of my family and friends, and so this is really, really special. A traditional biathlon is performed on skis. However, in the hot summer months, they use roller skis instead. That wasn't the only obstacle Dunkley fought during her race. I had a good challenge today, um, right before the start, about two minutes before we were supposed to be on the start line. My rifle broke. Um, this, there's two screws that hold this back piece on. Talking about the ballistics and this one broke second, off, so the, had to do a duct tape fix on the last minute, on their, which was pretty fun. Uh, Another Olympian combined National Guardsman is Leif Nordgren. You know, they have they have added add a lot of extra support. Um, as you know, typically it's just USBA that supports a lot of these athletes, but uh, the National Guard adds a whole extra layer of support. If he makes it to the Olympics again, it will be his last biathlon. Excited to kind of move on to the next chapter of my life and uh, you know, hopefully have a good year and close it out on a strong note. Organizers say they are happy to see the races return after the pandemic put a halt on their operations last year. They say this return is all the more special because it's happening simultaneously with the Olympic competitions. In Jericho, Kristen Ray, NBC5 News.